Hi, David Taub here, nextlevelguitar.com. How you doing today, good people? Hope all is well. I hope you're rocking on. I thought I'd show you a little technique today that um, lots of the, um, the icons use and we all do as guitar players. And if you don't know this, this is a lot of fun and you're going to introduce this into a lot of your lead playing. And um, I call this the principle, or it's called in general thirds, or playing scales in thirds, um, where you're playing three notes up, one note back, three notes up, one note back. Now you can do that in fours and fives and, and keep going, but we're just going to do thirds. And I, I hear I hear this a lot, guys use this like Agnes Young from ACDC, Jimmy Page, uh, Zeppelin, um, oh man, so Kurt Hemmett from Metallica. Everybody does this and you'll hear bits and pieces of it. You might not hear the whole scale up and back in thirds because that might sound a little too mm, stiff or scalar. But eventually, once you get this technique down, you could start adding it to your riffs and licks, okay? So what I'm talking about is I'm talking about, let's just take a basic scale like minor pentatonic, five note scale based off the natural minor scale, we'll play it in the key of A, low E string, first finger on the A note. You probably all know that scale, this is the basic box shape. Okay, so what we want to do is you want to play the first three notes of the scale. So you want to play the root, A, you want to play the C note, the flat third, and the fourth, which is the D, okay? Then, after those three notes, then you're going to back up a note and you're going to play, go back to that C note. There's your first three, then back up a note to the C, play the next three, then back up a note uh, uh, to the D, back up a note, and keep doing that and then playing the next success of three notes. And so on and so forth. And so on and so forth. Now, it sounds like a lame lick played slow, but once you speed it up, it's going to start to sound really good. I'll play it a little bit faster and, and try to get it at first like this. Right down the scale. Okay? Then descending, same thing. First three notes. So you're going to start start it on the C, the flat third, A, then play your uh, G, then back up a note to the A, three notes, back up a note to the G, back up a note, back up a note, and so on and so forth. So descending, you get this. And then just work the speed up. Now it's going to take some time, but eventually you want to get a little faster. And so on and so forth. They keep working it. Then play half of it and then throw in a lick. So you could start then combining it with your licks and uh, your melody lines, um, um, you might not at first practice it up and down a scale, but you're not going to really play, just like I wouldn't play a scale up and down straight when I'm playing leads, it's going to sound too stiff, but you can break it up and play it in pieces. So slow, and then just remember, three notes up, one back, three up, one back, and once you get that patterned, you'll have it. The great thing about that is now take that and just don't do it on minor pentatonic, do it on any scale or any piece of a scale or any fragment of a scale. For instance, let's just take a G major scale. Let's say we play with your first finger on the G note. You play G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Okay. 
Okay. So take that. Three notes, one back. Three notes, one back. Three notes in succession, one back. I'll do it slow. You hear all that? And then once you speed it up, it'll sound really good. Now there's a trick to doing this when you're playing three notes per string. Keep your first finger down. Let me come in a little closer and you'll see what I'm talking about. Watch my first finger. I'll do it really slow. See how that first finger stays down? That's key. Don't take that up because that first finger is the key to that, especially when you're playing it ascending. So leave the first finger down, one, two, three, back up a note, one, two, three, first finger stays down, back up a note, one, two, three, back up a note. When you're backing up a note C, you leave it down, it's there already, and that's where you get that speed from. And I like that descending, like here's a scale, descending. Then add it into your licks. And then you build up the speed. So mix it with minor pentatonic and scales, and you could do that, like I say, and you could do the fragments in thirds, in fourths, in fifths. I like fourths, where you would take four notes per string, play up, this is harder, one, two, three, four, then you got a back up two, or the way I think of it is I go one, two, three, four, then I play the next note in the scale for four next note in the scale. So if we do this G major scale, one, two, three, four, then the next note in the scale would be A, four notes, one, two, three, four, then the B note, one, two, three, four, the next note uh, uh, would be the C note, then the D note, then the E note, and so on and so forth. Again, it sounds lame slow. Speed it up and start sounding really good. So you can get these really cool licks, especially descending. I really like descending thirds and fourths. If you, if you don't know this, listen for it when you hear your favorite guitar players, and you'll pretty much be sure to hear some of that. Um, um, and take it and then add it in to your licks. Because I, I don't want to take a scale when I'm playing lead all the way up or all the way back. It'll sound too scalar. So I do it in pieces. And that's how one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you throw it in, fire it in, here and there, and it's really cool. And you can do it with anything, like uh, whatever. So let's say you're playing, you know, I don't know, a Aeolian mode. Same as C major, focused on the A notes, A natural minor. Play it in fours. Stop. Lick. Now fours. So there's just so much you can do with this and so much you can get out of it um, once you get the basic pattern down. Practice all your scales and all your modes in thirds and fourths. Start in thirds, that's the easiest, and then go to fours. And once you get the feel down, you'll be able to do any scale, any shape, uh, whatever. Here's another G major shape. See, I kind of have that. So I can, I can, I just feel it, and because I have that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and I know the scale. So if you know the shapes, you can soon play any shape, any scale in thirds and in fourths, and add that into your lick, and it's going to bring you so much fun and, and joy and all kinds of lick ideas. But just don't play it from top to bottom and bottom to top once, just like just like you wouldn't play a scale like that in a lead or an arpeggio like that. You kind of mix it in. That's what kind of good, you know, arpeggio playing is about mixing in arpeggios into your scales and into your licks, not just necessarily playing them straight up and straight back. Same thing with this thirds and fourths, kind of mixing them in with your licks, your scales, your modes, your arpeggios, um, and have fun with it. Enjoy that. Uh, listen for that with your favorite uh, guitar players, because you'll hear people use it a lot. And um, we will see you in the next lesson. Go to our website, nextlevelguitar.com. I'm David Taub. Rock on.